my name is Kenesha Corey, the PG Princess. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your virtual homegirl, Khadija Corey, the PG princess. And I am black. I'm back with another weekly vlog. So, yes, I did the weekly vlog the first time. It was a lot. But listen, we here, okay? So I'm super excited about it. It is Tuesday, May what? May 14th, okay? And... Literally yesterday, I just really had to like, okay, I got back from New York, probably like 1, 12, but I didn't really go to bed till like 1. So I was like super exhausted, y'all, like tired, like, mm -mm. and then I forgot I had booked an appointment with my job to go pick up my bag, so I had to go run all the way out there to Bethesda and run back. It was just an exhausting day, so I'm literally just catching up. Y'all know me, planning for the week and stuff like that. So, since I'm jumping into my planning for the week, since it's a Tuesday, normally start on a Sunday, but I was traveling, coming back home. Um, I'm just going to kind of get my calendar together in order. So, I'm like, well, since I'm doing that, I might as well just go ahead and record how to digital plan. So, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to do some content for that and then... Um, get that out because a lot of people have been asking me and it's super super cool because people been shouting me out i'm like what let me find out i'm a real influencer so yeah i'm gonna do that and you know you know i already told y'all before i find joy in that so i'm gonna work on that but um other than that child that is about it i am tired again okay i've been working all day i gotta catch up i have some travel stuff to do for one of my clients um for her 30th birthday and then i also still have to plan my best friend's um birthday i'm pretty much just putting together her itinerary we're kind of gonna walk through it talk about it and see exactly um you know what she want to add so i can send it out to her group so i'm excited about it y'all but i am exhausted i am tired i got some things booked this week let me see now i know where everything's on my planner because <laughs> if it's not in here i don't know what y'all talking about so what i had this week yesterday i had the cocoa butter conversations another interview with a celebrity dj dj honey that was pretty cool i really enjoyed that i worked with her already shameless plug if you want to check her out y'all need to go watch the melanin con gala i had recorded last year that vlog was so lit like i hosted that one and she dj like it was so cool so i had that yesterday and then um i had a sorority meeting today um for a committee that i'm on for our jazz brunch auction which is normally at the end of the year like december time um and then again i have to get my best friend to plan a little bit i got meetings all week okay <laughs> meetings all week i have an event i'm gonna go to a networking event panel discussion i'm going to that on thursday and then friday it should be chill and then i have my friends event on saturday so i'll be taking y'all with me throughout the week i'm trying and i picked up the camera that's it that's all i picked up the camera <laughs> like this is anybody okay give me a round of applause thank you so, um, yeah, I'm going to work on that. But other than that, I'm going to work on this content really quickly um, to get that out. And then we're going to go out all day because that's the goal. That's what we're working on. If I can get two vlogs out, I'm doing my big one. Okay. So, yeah. But other than that, that's about it, y'all. I hope y'all are having a fabulous week. It's a little rainy and gloomy, but we still shine regardless of the rain. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that together. So I'm gonna just see how I can like try to plan and set things up real quick. You know, like how I wanna do it. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna see how it works and we're just gonna wing it from there. Hey y'all. Uh, 
But I just finished getting dressed. I'm on my way to the networking event. It is called Women Have Options. So I'm excited for it. I think it's more like a networking happy hour type of feel, type of vibe. But we're gonna see. I just got me on my little Shein blazer here. These cute little um, boyfriend jeans on and us bodysuit. So I was like, eh, let me just chill, but still keep it cute. So that's the vibes. That's what we going for. Um, and that's about it, y'all. So I'm on my way and I'm gonna be taking y'all with me. Hey guys. Okay, so I finally found parking. I'm on my way to the event now. At least I ain't parked too far. I got a good little spot. I just circled the block, you know, three times. Cause I'm at a limit now. The older I get, the limit is three times. So I can't find nothing. Guess what? We gonna hunt. So yeah. All right, let's go.
my vision has come to life. So I'm really just happy and I'm proud of that. Yeah. So introducing Taylor Campbell, the founder of For the Girls Who Do It All. Introducing Gabrielle Mariah, the co-founder of Great Energy Group. And next we have Ari Davis. Ari Davis is the founder and CEO of Stripped, an affordable luxury lifestyle clothing brand. And last but not least, we have Sierra Balgar. Sierra Balgar is the founder of City Girl Golf. In your childhood, that show up in your current career path. I know me personally, I was that kid that got notes sent home that said she talked too much. <laughs> and now I'm gonna talk to y'all. So <laughs> it worked out over in my favor. But um, what have you guys heard in your childhood or what were you just always doing, always creating that kind of shows up now in your adulthood and your career path? Hi everyone. Doing it all. When I read that question, I I'm in a season of unapologetically being me. So it's doing all the things that serve you. So not everything that your mother, father, boyfriend, friends wants you to do. Like why? Understanding your why and doing all the things that spark your interest. Really, just focusing on your strengths is very important, especially when it comes to building a business. To me, I understand my skill strength is social media. I went to school for marketing and PR, so I was like, let me just focus on that. And focusing on what you're good at, you know, is far more important than focusing on what you're not good at. And then to bring your ladies together and talk to ladies, I was like, I don't know, I need your help. I need you to be a counselor, right? I guess. Yeah. Right? So, ultimately, it's just knowing, like, hey, you can't do everybody's job, and I do feel like I can do everybody's job. So it's like, if you're not doing it right, you can go. Yeah. 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 So it's like, I don't consider it insult. I would actually, it actually helps you because when you start to look for help and hire people, you have a good, like she was saying, like you have a good sense of how to do things and you have to really, you actually get to see how somebody adds value. Because it's like, if I can do this, and if I can do it good enough, then you really need to be able to do it great, right? One, two, three. Cheers, Cheers to doing it all and doing it well. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. I'm on my way to the Sephora Grand Opening. Yeah, I look crazy. And it's a line. I'm just trying to get in and get out, but everybody got their sweats on. So listen, I'm really trying to get in and get out. We about to see what it is. Literally, we're trying to get in and get out. Because they open at 10. And it's like 9.45 and it's a freaking line. I just knew everybody was going to be no, at work, no, y'all. So I've got Nicole Williams, she's chair of the Prince George's delegation in Annapolis. We got Andrea Harrison, who used to represent this area on the county council. Now she's a delegate in Annapolis. And vice chair of the delegation. And vice chair of the delegation. We have Erica Fareed and Kat Guillaume. And Kat Guillaume <laughs> from the uh, Glen Arden Council. We have Kip Roberson, who's also on the uh, House of Delegates. Who else? Kim, Kim Taylor. Taylor. Kim Taylor. Where, where, oh yeah, yeah, I saw you. Kim Taylor is in the House of Delegates. So we're all here because we're so excited about this store and what it means for Woodmore Town Center. Yes. yes. Because you know what? Other places, you see some malls kind of drying up and floating away. 
but one more town center is the bomb. Right. Yes. 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 So we have uh, a certificate of recognition for Sephora at one more town center. And it says May 17th, 2024, in celebration of the grand opening and ribbon cutting of Sephora at Woodmore Town Center here in Glen Arden, Maryland. So we will present it to to the uh, the manager and the and the assistant manager. And now I'm excited to help you all cut the ribbon. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, yes. Awesome. Are you guys ready? Yes! yes! All right. Welcome to Sephora. And. Yeah! Woo! Woo! We are open. We are open. We are open. I need to go inside and get ready to receive all these clients. Give us your money. And y'all gonna give us our money. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. You got one? Michelle. Let's scratch our card and see what you get. Michelle. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I was trying to let the people get in so that we can do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being patient. Welcome to Sephora. It's Saturday. We are at Two Lions. Two Lions, a winery. Thank you. I got Janine in here. Okay, so it's raining, y'all, but I wanted to talk to y'all before the music start back up. Um, so yeah, y'all, we are here for some sister time. Super excited about it. That walk almost killed me, but we here. So we're doing flight one, which is on the sweet slide for our wine tasting, and then for food, what you see. I'm gonna That's exactly what I'm going with. Okay. Oh, these say small bite. Subway oh, ice cream. Oh, what is this? Oh, the wines they sell. So yeah, this is real cute. I'll show y'all around. It's real nice and stuff. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? And out, but you still have love for me, girl. It's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? And out, but you still.
what's up? So we are at Sydney's event for WBW. She's sitting on a panel, so we came to support her. We are excited about it. Can't wait. I know she's gonna do a great job. Janene's here. So we are excited. And here comes the girl of the hour. Just took a shot. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? Welcome to my little event, I guess. Um, <laughs> we are here to network and talk about how to make passive income on your platform, on your branding, your yes. marketing. We also have another financial expert here who talks about how he makes money on the side. So great conversation because, you know, the world, it costs money. It costs money to breathe, it costs money to drink water. So we gotta find ways to make money without that nine to five. All sides, okay? My goal for myself, three strands of income, and we getting there. And no shade to the girls with the nine to fives. You know, we love the girls with the nine to fives, because I'm one of them too, okay? Yes. But yes, we are excited. Welcome to Opinion Society, where today we are having conversations with women building well. Today I have with me Sydney Porter, who's also known as Sid in the City. Sid is a digital marketing consultant. Let's everyone give a warm welcome to Sydney Porter, aka Sid in the City. Then we have Ron, who's a nine to five entrepreneur who teaches and specializes in teaching his community on how to not trade their time for money. Let's everyone please give him a round of applause. And I am your lovely host, Dejanae Seed, who is also owner of Opulent Society and one of the founders of Women Building Wealth. How do your current work play into your content? Okay, so that's a great question. So I decided to dive really deep into my YouTube channel. And so when I was looking for more work into social media and digital marketing, I wasn't really getting any hits. So I was like, I'm going to go back to school. So when I moved back from New York to D.C., I decided to get my master's from... Hey, Jessica. <laughs> I decided to get my master's from Georgetown in design management communications, which all in all is really like digital marketing. That was just the name of my program. Okay, and Ryan, same thing for you. What is your educational background and what do you currently do for it? I um so I'm a nine to five preneur. I'm, I'm building my short term rental business. So I manage about thirty five properties all across the country Ooh. on Airbnb. Um and I specialize in teaching my community how not to trade your time for money. Okay, so to close out, uh, my last question to you both is: After providing everyone with all this information, what is one word that you want everyone to associate you with after today? Mm -hmm. With me? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> After all this information, you want to be like, when you think of saying it's like, boom, this is what I think of her. Um, I guess now. for me, I love to push the fact that I. What word? Uh, to describe one word. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning towards like authentic, okay. but also like the idea. Because I feel like I'm an idea girl. Okay. I will always have a good idea, a good strategic plan, a little, you know, I'm creative <clears throat> in that way. But I'm also authentic in my approach. So I got two words. Oh. Wow. One word. One word. Okay. Well, one word. Two. So you have one. I mean, no. Nah, so one word that I will. I haven't thought of it yet. I'm killing time. So one word mm -hmm. I want you all to think of me is motivation. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm from this city, born and raised, DC. Like, if I can do it, y'all can do it. Mm -hmm. You can't be afraid to take risks, jump off the porch, ask God what your purpose is, mm -hmm. um, ask Him to align your steps, connect you with the right people to help you get there. So I just want to say thank you both for having me. Welcome to WBW. Hey babes, what's up? It's Sunday. Happy Sunday to y'all. I'm literally on my way to go get to Brooklyn. We are going to a private event today. It's a private brunch with New Balance and DTLR. So we are on our way to go to that. The theme or dress code is like all gray and New Balances. So I got my New Balances on and all that cute good stuff. But other than that, I am in routes. I try to record like a get ready with me outfit of the day. Like I don't know, it was my first one. So we're gonna see once I edit it, how it turns out. But I got this Fashion Nova cute little three-piece suit on, loving it, okay? It's giving the brooks what it needs. It does hit the gray vibe. I think I am on brand for this event. So I'm excited about it, but I'm on my way. 
it's over at six. Hopefully, you know, just getting out of church. Like, people need to, you know, understand that we praise the Lord. Because it started at 7. I mean, it started at 11. I don't know where I got 7 from. But it starts at 11, ends at 7. That's where I got it from. So, you know, it's supposed to be like brunch. And it turns into like day party vibes. So, yeah. We're going to see what it gives. I'm excited. My friends had reached out. I was like, hey. We're throwing this event, private, come on through, so cool. And I got Bishop coming, so I get some content. That's the goal here. But other than that, I'm about to go pick up Brooklyn, and I'll see y'all when I get there. We got Brooklyn here! Yeah. That's my boo. Y'all know I love me some Brooklyn. Yay! Ooh. You live not too far, it's crazy. I know. It's like I'm 10 obsessed. minutes. I was like, oh. And then I was like, I used to live over here. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are on our way. We're en route. We found parking in the neighborhood, y'all, because the garage gave me anxiety because my truck is so big. But we are on the way, taking a nice stroll. It's beautiful say, it's out. It's a nice day. It is nice. It's good. The, the fresh, you know, air going through us. It good. is nice, so we should be fine. Which way? Let's this way? And way. cross over? Okay. Let's do that. All right, y'all. So we are on our way, and don't we look cute? It's giving what it needs. Always. It's giving what it needs. Okay, can we go? Nobody's coming. Okay, praise God. Let's go. Cause listen, I don't want to enter. All right, y'all. I see y'all when we get there. <laughs> okay, y'all. We tune in. This is the team right here. Okay, the trio. Don't miss it. Okay, <laughs> yo. People always gotta talk mess. It to me like you want to, ooh. I can take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco. And all you gotta say is miss it go. And when you say it go, I won't move slow. Suck it to me, ooh. Ah. Suck it to me like you want to, mm -hmm. I can take it like a pro, you know. You know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping mess like some Crisco.
so early on the sheet of the tablet in my mind Cause I don't write shit, cause I ain't got time for my second minutes I always go to the almighty dollar in the almighty power of that ch 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 chopper Sister, brother, son, daughter, father, motherfucker, copper Got the Maserati dancing on the bridge, pussy popping, tell the coppers ha 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 You can't catch them, you can't stop them, I go by them goon rules If you can't beat them, then you pop them, you can't man them, then you mop them You can't stand them, then you drop them, you pop them, cause we pop them like over red and vodka